Ladies and gentlemen, Jess's Dinner Theater is proud to present Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Jester Senior Theater's proud to present Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Come with me, and you'll be. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Jess Steer Theater is proud to present Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. center and each one sweeter and creamier and more delicious than the one before. I can make chewing gum that never loses its taste and rich caramels that change color every 10 seconds as they delectably dissolve in your mouth. I've also created the best and biggest candy empire the world has ever known. But I have no one to leave it to, no one to replace me, no one to make New candy dreams come true after I retire, and the time for me to retire is, alas, already long overdue. Come, follow me. The two very old people here are the father and mother of Mrs. Bucket. The two very old people on the other side of the bed are the father and mother of Mr. Bucket. This is Mr. Bucket, that is Mrs. Bucket, and the small boy standing right there is Charlie Bucket, their only son. Really loud. Every day, nothing but cabbage soup. Cheer me up, Charlie. Tell me, what's the chocolate news? Mom has got a new bar out. Fudge Wickle or Marlow based? Marlow and Mabel Shimbers. Flavor shifters, my! And hi to you too. Been laying across this bed for you for 17 years and you suddenly decide to say hi. George, she didn't say hi. She said flavor shifters, my! Who's wearing the tie? What do you mean why? I don't know why. Well, she didn't say hi, tie, or why. She said, flavor shifters, mine! Mine! <laughs> sure, I'd love a slice of pie. Oh, nobody's having pie, Dad. Just cabbage soup, as always. Uh, uh. Papa, 
Good. All the way over against the wall so you can face the audience. There you go. How many toothpaste caps have you been twisted into place after toothpaste by the Well, uh, as of last night, Charlie, my career total stands at 4,249,876. That must be real record. Close. I'd love some toast. Well, nobody is having toast! <laughs> Using one day, I might be able to get a job at the toothpaste factory, Papa. For your sake, I hope not, Charlie. What kind of positive thinking is that? <laughs> Charlie's going to work for Mr. Blanca, making chocolate bars. <laughs> oh, and now, Grandpa Joe, don't go filling the boy's head with dreams of candy. Brandy? I'd love one. for being present.
loud. That was so quiet. Say. <laughs> no, she, she didn't hear the cue. She's wait, Mary really? waiting. Really? Gee, thanks. Gee, thanks. Eating sweets, all those wonderful, really wonderful treats. That's true. 
let's let's start again. Yeah. <laughs> and don't don't hug that curtain, guys. Come, come downstairs. And then you can Accepted. The ticket, Mr. Salt! Uh, well, 
Right, right. So after buying hundreds of thousands of Wonka bars, I had my factory girls stop shelling nuts and start shelling wrappers. And how many wrappers did Veronica shell? None, you pea brain. Veronica does a dual manual labor. And my daddy will have you fired for mispronouncing my name. Oh, yeah, we have people for that. And my daddy will have you fired for mispronouncing my name. Won't you, daddy? <laughs> Anything you want, Pidgey. Anything you want. Anybody. So after days of shelling nothing but wrappers, one of my factory girlies finally found that lousy golden ticket. I rewarded her by letting her take a lucky piece of chocolate home for her 17 kids. <laughs> Just didn't have the heart not to. You know what I mean? How philanthropic. Daddy! No, she speaks sarcastic! I want fire! 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 Do you hear me? Fire! 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 This is Phineas Trout, where it seems that sweet is rapidly turning sour. Uh, with nuts! Don't forget the nuts! Seems you can't have the chocolate without the nuts. Good luck, Veronica. It's fire! <laughs> statement, Charlie. They closed it forever. I'm out of a job. Out of a job? Yep. They're moving the factory overseas. Gonna be fully automated now. And toothpaste cap twisting is the only profession I know. Guess you don't need toothpaste cap twisters when you got robot gizmos. Don't worry about it. You never like that job anyway. Maybe now you can get back into the candy business. Uh, Grandpa Joe likes to dream big dreams, Charlie, but I'm afraid big dreams aren't going to put food on the table. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to tell your mom, Charlie. Things were tough enough when I had a job, but now... I said don't worry, Dad. Just think positive. Positive? Why? Oh, 
about his tongue in the conveyor belt. <laughs> hey, uh, let's head home. I'm positive we're having something special for supper. No, fresh cabbage soup. That's awesome. yeah, that's awesome. Remember this song when things go wrong, and you'll know what to do. In no time, you'll be thinking positive too. Positive. They went about from morning to night with a horrible rumbling in their tummies. Charlie felt it worst of all, but once a year, Charlie got a very special treat. Don't hug the curtain. Stop chewing your gum. 
love it all. I'm, you remember what your therapist said about acting out. I'm a panic, Mom. You have to have your guys more than I do. But I do not appreciate that sort of language. Keep watch your words and ask me nicely. No problem. Hey, Mom, would you please can it? <laughs> Who needs school? I got the 
net TV in my game boy, fool. <laughs>
turn this cold as Willy Wonka's Sub Zero chocolate ice cream supreme. Inside the house, just a freezing air rushed in around the sides of the windows and underneath the doors, and there was no place to go to escape them. Poor old people lay silent, huddled in their bed, trying to keep the cold out of their bones. But the Bucket family, the excitement of the golden tickets was long forgotten. In fact, all the time they could think about was trying to keep warm and scraping enough food together to keep their hunger at bay for yet another long, cold day as winter tightened its grip. Mr. Bucket looked for odd jobs like shoveling snow, and little Charlie began the long trek uphill to his school.
What's your name, kid? Charlie. Charlie Bucket, so congratulations. <laughs> congratulations, Charlie Bucket. Your life is about to change.
whispers again. I never thought I'd see the day when I would face the world and say hi hi to each other. Good morning. Look at the sun. Arms out. Then we're gonna grapevine. Do you have another grapevine? You step out, behind, step out, in front. the video so I can upload it quicker. 